assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to this tutorial where i will show you how to design a stunning github readme.mt so in this tutorial so in this tutorial we will learn seven things first of all basic markdown syntax then text formatting then adding links images badges gifs organizing table and list html css in readme pro readme templates so let's see one by one so at first basic markdown syntax so in the basic markdown syntax first of all we will see how to bold a text so for bold a text we can use double star and ending double star in between we can write a text suppose bold so the output the text is bold so you can see another example mm, this is a bold text and this is a normal text bold this is a bold text this is normal text so you can see i put the text here line by line but here is here this is in line so for resolving the issue we have to use a single line gap for each line so now you can see our issue has been solved so in the second example i will show you headings in the readme uh, headings okay so for heading this is simple as html so for heading we have to use hash for hash this is called heading one okay so this is heading one for each heading we have to use those number of headings and there is two hash so this is called heading two there is three hash it's called heading three okay we will see more example and this is heading four this is heading five this is heading c so now let's see what is the output so here is the heading list this heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, heading 4, 5 and 6. Okay. So after that, we will see text formatting. Okay. So first of all, we will see bold text. For the bold text, so for the bold text, we already described, we have to use a starting double star and closing double star. So this is our bold text. Now we will see italic test so for the italic test we have to use we have to use first starting starting star and ending star now between i will write a text which is italic so this is italic okay i will giving a space in there okay then so now we'll see strike through so for the strike through text we have to use this command i don't know what it is called so strike through so ending symbol ending double symbol so you can see it cuts the line so after that we will see inline code so for the inline code text we have to use this symbol line code okay what is the output output will be shows like this okay now we will see how to adding links in the github readme.md so for adding the links we have to use hard brackets in there so there i can write in messages so i will write the message visit my github then there is first packet and here i have to put the link because i am putting the github official website page so, okay let's see how it works so this is my link if i click there So it takes me in the github homepage 
okay now we'll see in the readme.md file how we can add images badges and gifs so first of all let's start with images so for the images we have to use exclamatory symbol then third bracket then we have to use first bracket here i have to put the image link so here i have to put the image link so i'm randomly searching an image okay i will use this image i will copy this address and paste in there so what is the review so the image is showing in there now we will see how to add badges so for the badge this is same this is same as image uh, i'm typing here a message suppose github badge okay these messages are actually working when images are unsuccessful to loading okay and github badge so i don't have any badges actually so i am copying these badges from there okay and now i paste it so let's see what is the output here the badges has been added okay then now we will add gifs same as previous two message gif the gif link and i'm searching from google mm, this gif is good i think copying it from here paste in there so let's see what is the output okay the gif okay the gif has been added there successfully so all right now we will see how to organizing table name list in there so first of all i will create table so at first i have to set the table header so for the table header i use this symbol now i will push the table header data which is feature okay then i'm pushing another data which is description so my so my table header data so my table header is created now i have to close it so i'm matching so i'm matching the line same as the previous line so okay my my table data my table header has been created which is features and description now i will put the table data in there so suppose i am pushing speed mm, another data is fast okay i am pushing another data without using this line this line is used for only close the header So let's see what happened in there so my data has been created this is the this is the table header and this is the table data those are the tables header and those are the tables data so all right now we will see how to use html css in readme so now i am using paragraph command e as html P in the P I will add an image image search okay here I will add a so here I will add the github icon okay let's see what's happening 
this icon has been added now let's do more customization in there so I can set the width width equal to 50 let's see okay the size has been changed so now I want to align it with this in the center align equal to centers same as same as HTML okay so the github icon added in the center okay so now we'll see how to make a pro readme template I'm removing it I'm adding a project name the icon with clicking windows plus dot okay I will add sun icon in there yeah. sun icon now I'll give here project name let's see my title has been added so I'm adding another divider name description this description okay now I'm giving a short description name there a short description about the project okay the description part has been added now I will add feature list icon I will use rocket icon in there features okay I'm adding features So I'm adding here three features so let's see so that's so the features are in line we have to separate it so I have given there a space so I'm pushing here empty line so let's see now so the features are line by line Mm, suppose now I have to add a link in there suppose installation suppose now I have to suppose now I have to add a link in there installation so for adding a link you can use bash element so you can use bash element in there suppose in this link I am pushing github tutorial suppose github clone suppose git clone link cd directory pm install so those four element I am keeping in the bash box so let's see so you can see those four element in the bash box container and we can copy it from there so we will add link for the contributors as we see before there is alter text so here this is alter text your name then link in github.com okay. the link has been added so let's see if the link has been added or not 
okay the link has been added there now we can use a ending message in there for completing our readme page so now i'm using a license now i'm using a license text okay is i'm giving here a message So, so all right our professional readme md page has been created so and see a final review okay it's looking good now i will do commit changes in there so you can use those command from vs code also okay so this is my final output and that's it now you know how to create a professional and eye-catching github readme.md that's make your project stands out so if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more awesome content i'd love to see your readme designs so drop a link to your repository in the comments below and let's make it have a more beautiful place thank you so much thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video happy coding